एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लैपलास इक्वेशन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लैपलास इक्वेशन वी नो दैट लैपलास इक्वेशन इज डेल स्क्वायर वी इक्वल्स टू जीरो यही था लैपलास इक्वेशन तो आर प्रॉब्लम इज दैट In previous class, we discussed that potential can be measured using this Laplace equation, just integrating, and it is very useful and it is very easy to calculate the potential. Our first problem is that first application is that potential between between. parallel plate capacitor between the plates of parallel plate capacitor we know that a capacitor is built with two plate this is called parallel plate capacitor and there will be a potential given suppose one is positive with another is zero So let this is along z axis, and the distance between this is equal to d, small d. So let two. So this is at z equal to zero plate, and this is equal to z equal to d. These are two plates. So let sorry, let The potential at this point equals to zero, and at this point equals to V A that are supplied using our external battery or power supply system. So obviously this is along in a one dimensional problem. So del in one dimensional del del square equals to del two del x two equivalent to del two del x two. In one dimension, for three dimensional, del two del x two plus del two del y two plus del two del z two. But in, a, in this is a one dimensional problem. Just take del square as a del square del two del x two. So Laplace equation in convert to del two v del x two equals to zero. So just integrate this. So for first integration, del v del x. Gives a constant c. Again, again integrating this gives del v equals to c sorry we are using. Along z, we are taking the z uh, coordinate. So just take z. So del square v del z two equals to zero. So first integration gives del v del z equals to some constant c one, and second derivative gives v equals to c one z plus c two another constant. So our condition is at z equals to zero. At z equals to zero. V equals to zero. This implies zero equals to C two. Zero equals to C two. That is C two equals to zero. And second condition equals to at z equals to d, v equals to v a. So v a equals to C one z plus zero. So this implies C one equals to v a by z. Therefore, v equals to v a by z. Sorry, this is d. Sorry, sorry, what mistake? And this is v a equals to c one d. Sorry, z equals to d. So this gives also d. So v n by d, v a by d into z plus zero. So our final solution is that. The potential in between two plates is equal to V A 
by D into Z that is proportional to Z.